Now, Julius, we are here with the two new powered offerings from JBL. We've got an SRX 835P, three-way top box, and an SRX uh, 818P uh, down the bottom, a uh, single 18 sub. Now, it's three-way, it's got a 15-inch woofer, it's got a five-inch uh, mid-range driver, which is the same one from the VTX 20 line array, and a three-inch compression driver with a 640, 60 by 40 dispersion angle. Now, first impressions of this particular JBL product, Julius. It's straight up and down meat and potatoes for me. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling the same way. It is uh, very much JBL. You're in front of it, you're immediately got that familiar JBL sound, you know, uh, and all the things that come with that. Uh, it, uh, to me, to my ear, actually feels like a box that's going to be better with live music through it than playback, which is a good thing most of the time. Yeah. Um, few other tricks up its sleeve. Uh, being the Harman Group, they've got a 2000 watt crown amp in uh, the top box, a 1000 watt, watt crown amp in the bottom box. The Shark DSP for days. You can actually do 20 bands of parametric EQ on each box. Um, you can save, you can hook up to high QNet, control from iPad, control from Android, and all of those tricks. Now, I think what they're going for here is a bit of everything. It's mm. covered in M10 eye bolts. You could hang this thing, rig this thing anywhere, but uh, one of the things they've done with the tuning is they've made it compatible with some of the tunings that go with the premium touring line arrays. Oh. So if you're a rental house touring around VRX, VTX... You can dial that sound up. Yeah, you can mm. have these as in-fill, side-fill, back-fill, drum-fill yeah. and, and be matched with it. So I think they're trying to leverage off their touring as well. Now, um, what did you think of the weight? Well, under 40 kilos. I was really you yeah. know, I gave one of those ones when I picked it up I was expecting a three-way box yeah. to, to be taxing to put up on a sub and and it's the sub. same money as you know 20 years ago we had yeah. dual 15 and horn boxes that weighed twice as much oh, that yeah. didn't have an amplifier in them yeah yeah well I've, li I've lifted other other active three ways that yeah. are much heavier than this yeah. recently yeah. yeah so I'm kind of impressed by how easy this is going to be pretty easy on the crew to get in and out if you are touring um, and, and kind of easy to get into position the handles are good I know I go on about handles but they are just so Easy to get wrong, apparently, but yeah. I like them, you know. You're mm. not going to bang your hands, it's great. Look, it is JBL. I mean, that's, I've got a bit of a perf personal preference, which I I've, and a lot of other engineers will agree with me. I find the mid-range, you know, I can deal with it, but a bit barky at me, but that's a JBL thing. Some people love that. That's why this brand is so successful. A lot of people really like it. I mean, where do you stand on the JBL sound? Oh, I, don't, I, don't have, I don't have the bias. Yeah, yeah, I think I do. I think I've, I've, you yeah. know, I've got a little bit of it like, oh, it's a bit rock and roll. But that's, Look, I think, you know. and we talked about this in another yeah. forum, but I yeah. think if you have a blind listening test yeah. to a lot of new systems, mm. your biases will fly out the window. Yeah, well, look, one of my reactions to listening to it was that if I put a band through this, I could make it sound good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, I'd like to think I can anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that's, well, with yeah. this combination also, there's, there's enough bottom end for days. Yeah. And that's, yeah. in my book, that's really important. Yeah, it is a good musical sub too, mm. I think. That's, uh, that's, that's yeah, important. Yeah, mm. Definitely workable and, yeah, great for the money, great for mm. the weight. And, uh, yeah, too easy. There you go. Yeah.